Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers, back onto the Acid Rain World. Here we have the brand new Interceptor Camelbot HR52E. Interestingly, he comes in the bigger box style, not the smaller box, which is about half the width with a plastic crate, like the other Camelbots, but he comes in a bigger box. Um, I'm not sure why, looking at the content on the back. Let's open them up and have a look at the box and obviously the figure in more detail. Okay. So he comes, it looks like a backpack, it looks like a rack, that new head that looks awesome. Uh, for an other action figure, looks like clips for his gun, his gun, and maybe a strap. Can't quite tell. But he does look good. I love this new head on he's got, and also the new feet. I love the old camel bots, and I'll stick um, one of them up and suggest the videos up here somewhere. Uh, but I didn't like the feet. The feet were yeah, the feet weren't great. In fact, I'll stick up a comparison of the first. Three, I think, camel bots up here, and you can look at the differences in their sort of design and heads and whatnot, and the color scheme. Uh, but they're all packed away now, so I'm not going to get them out of this review. Sorry. Okay, so he's out of the box. Oh, very similar to what we've seen with the Revenant Laurel, where they pack one plastic packing on top of another plastic packing. So the gun is in the bottom with these accessories. And we have some instructions, and we have our actual... Oh, he looks very... Oh, man, he looks amazing. Our actual Interceptor Camelbot there. I am going to look at the instructions. Very unmanlike, I know. Let's see what we can learn from him. Probably it's going to have the transformation part. Or oh, it's showing you all the joints. Okay, expandable joints in some of them. So he's got one, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen expandable joints, I guess, and shows his backpack going in, his gun, there's a handle attached. Oh, there's a strap for the gun. Now I get it. Uh handle attaches. Whee. His head goes up, his arms come round. All sorts of things on that. Which I'm gonna refer to. No doubt I'll go wrong somewhere, but that's what videos are for. Uh this is taped he's out uh, let's get the uh, accessories done it's the gun strap and the other handle there's a magazine have his backpack we have the rack I think the rack is for putting the um like the little drones like the beholder and the spitfire and those things on We have that new, oh my word, that is phenomenal. The uh, head, that skull head, that is fantastic. Look at that. Oh, they're too close, it won't focus, but that looks amazing. I love that. Uh, we have these spare joints, and I'm trying to remember now from what they're used for. Uh, they're used for attaching arms from this to another figure. If I'm wrong, someone let me know, but that's what I recall. Yeah, so this is a rack for his back, and I believe that will hold like a drone, like a beholder, maybe. Actually, this rack is warped. It's not... Str oh, it's bendy. That's okay. I was going to say it's a bit warped, but it is bendy, so that's not too bad. His backpack is quite hefty. And let me see. Yeah, look at that. The magazine is in there with a bullet in there. You can just slot it inside straight away. Um, according to the box, was it three he comes with? So it is two in there, and it looks like his gun has one pre-loaded. Is it loaded? Inserted? I guess loaded. Okay. And he comes with this huge gun. And they've actually pre-attached the strap. Is that attached right? But the strap for me is the... Um, I haven't pre-attached it. It's too 
thick. I like something a bit, you know, almost soft goods. This has got too much resistance for some things. So let me see. They clip it. This goes underneath or on top. This clips where? Okay, so that can come down. It's not making a whole lot of sense how it clips. I'm guessing it has to clip on that back part there. They're showing you how it attaches here, but they've, they've pre-attached it by this handle. But they're not showing how it attaches at the back. It's, it's pre-attached in the picture, which doesn't really help me. But it looks like it attaches over this little part here. That's what it looks like. Am I right? Over there, okay. And this handle is great because it moves from the top, turns around, and it can move around to the side again. Lovely looking gun, drill barrels we expect. A um, little bit of give, but that will snap to be careful. And the magazine, the clip comes out, and you can reload it again. Really, really nice. Uh, backpack. looks like it that's interesting they've put these clips in upside down is that a military reason for that easy to take out i don't know the backpack looks like it doesn't open but it's got so much weight to it and is it, there's a hollow you can feel it so am i missing something here does that come off okay yes it does so it's a, a slot on a friction fit and it's a good fit as well Okay, the figure, let's have a... Oh, here's a thing of beauty, man. Those new feet are phenomenal. Let's have a look at him. That head is so good. So he's got this vest, which is new. Uh, the shoulder pads are new. The head is new and very stiff. The feet are new. And they are big, so he should stand up really quite easily. And he is obviously a tall 118 scale figure. I'll have a look at size in a moment. Let me put them a bit closer and get a look. These feet are awesome. And also these parts here, the feet for these in the transformed mode are different too. Matching almost his feet on his legs at the bottom there very very nice uh, let's have a look at his articulation then we will move on from there so head moves left and right head's very flat there's a very good up a very good down and there's his neck joint here you can do this boop, very nicely uh, there is limited side to side Shoulders, not as good as the other ones because of these shoulder pads armor, but still we get nicely over the uh, the uh, flat the 180 to 90 degrees on each arms. Bicep is going to be amazing because it is a double jointed arm. That is ridiculous. Okay, to give you an idea, that's how far my arm goes. I can't bring it down any lower. Look at my angle compared to his, much better than me. Uh, the shoulders are also, let me have a look, his armour pops off. So there's a ball joint on his shoulder, so he has some movement like this as well. In fact, there's a barbell joint into the shoulder, into his arm oh, okay uh, this will go on which way that way here yeah. and it's good to know the armor does come off quite easily uh waist he's gonna have a bend awesome backwards bend forwards bend his vest gets in the way he turns from the trunk and but not from the not from the hips the armor on the upper legs is fixed as far as I can tell nice paintwork on the silver there uh doesn't go as far out as we're used to, but 
because the uh, sculpt gets in the way, but it's still pretty good. Forwards, yeah, over flat, backwards, he can get, uh, not quite, the angle would change because the sculpt is, is a full split pretty much. That's really good. There's no thigh turn as such, but uh, it's a, I'm a bit weary of these legs. I don't want them to snap, the ball to snap on the uh, on the hip joint there. This is a bit stiff. Uh, double kneecap, as we expect. And again, he gets as tight as he can. Considering how bulky his legs are, that is pretty damn impressive. And you should be, can you? I wonder. No. Um, lower leg, he twists from the upper ankle. Tippy toe is not great, all things considered. It's just very small tippy toe. His dorsal flexation, his Michael Jackson, however, is pretty damn good. And do his legs. Oh, I see. He actually not only turns from the ankle, he swivels from the ankle side to side as well. So if he's doing a uh, legs out pose, he can still get his feet relatively flat. And so he's more stable. He is a fantastic looking figure. Okay, before I go to um, before I attempt to transform, I'm just going to quickly pause this and grab a couple of extra figures to do a comparison. It'll be an instant for you, but about 45 seconds for me. Back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Obviously, uh, let's put it closer to get another decent look in. Make him look at the camera. Boop, boop. He is really really nice before i do a comparison let me see about fixing his backpack on it fits only one way so with these facing downwards i guess it's for easy taking out uh you may have to adjust this little vest a bit so it fits in uh they are keeping this on when it's attached it's can't be the easiest thing to attach i'm sure but let's have a look Well, that is not going to be easy. Yep, they are keeping on. I would, I think it would be easy to take off. Let me see, where does it attach from? Okay, from the side, is it both sides? Yeah, two clips you can take off. You probably have to remove his head though to make it slightly easier. Uh, if you want, there's two clips on the side. And also, I believe that these clips are not difficult to put back because sometimes the vests, they come pre-attached, pre-clipped, and you take them off and it's like the devil's own job trying to put them back. So that's easy to put back as well, which is good. Let me try this again. Looking at this, these are actually slightly wider than the holes. So it's going to be a, that's why it's struggling to fit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now I don't want to take his vest off. I'm going to keep it on. Ah. Okay. This one clips on which ways? Have a look. This, this one looks like it's going to be an easier fit because cool, you can even see the difference in these two and these two. So much smaller, which makes me think that. Have a look. Yeah, look at that. That's in almost straight away. Very easy. This one, and it's quite rigid to take out. Whereas this one, because these are further apart, they have to go inwards to fit. That is going to be a bit of a struggle, particularly with his vest on, I think. But I'm going to give this another go. I want to get it on just so I can show you guys in the review. But I, uh, if I can't do it now, I'll pause the camera and work it out and then come back. I'm about to do one side, push, other side, and then 
push the top oh, nope okay let me pause this trumpet it on and i'll be back in an instant again for you back in a moment okay i'm back what the instructions don't show is that the rack goes in his back first and then the backpack attaches to the rack. But as I said at the beginning that my rack is a bit warped, look at the bend on that. You see it's bending away at the bottom there. Uh, but, and now the backpack is going that way, even though it was on. If you put the rack on first, it's almost impossible to get the backpack on. Put the backpack on the rack, <coughs> excuse me it then makes it hard to put the wreck on so it's like a almost like a no win situation that you can do it. i know with the uh civic company sentinel which i'll do a comparison with in a moment that some people super glued his backpack on his exo um backpack gun thing on because it was so difficult to put on i've tried going the instructions way which is this way and push and the opposite way and it's like oh but they have the backpack attack. Well, they show the backpack not on the rack, but you have to attach it first. And then in and link and again at an angle. I'd much rather this was easier to do. Okay, so he's obviously in his uh, transformed like animal mode now. Looks pretty damn cool. When I stand him, I can see it already. When I stand him up, because that's so not straight, the backpack will come off, um, which is a shame because it looks pretty cool. Will I glue that on? I don't want to, but I might be tempted to. Okay, let's put him back into his... Uh, His robot mode as opposed to his uh or his bipedal mode as opposed to his uh quadpedal mode. I should say that these little front feet also on balls so they can move down and around as well. Let's put those back up. It's well thought out except for that backpack. I think that should be better, so uh, better worth attaching. A bit like the uh, Civic Company Sentinel, Sentinel. very annoying. Uh, I could do it if I want to spend a bit more time, but obviously I'm reviewing and I don't want to keep pausing, coming back, pausing, coming back already. It's 18 minutes. Okay, so how does he hold his gun? Let's have a look. There's a little spike that folds out here. And I thought it was to connect to his back, but I can't see where it goes when he's in canine mode, so I'm not sure about that. With his articulation, he should hold this particularly well. His hands have got spring, which is good. So which way around? This way around seems a bit strange. Hold your gun. Okay, and that should stay in quite nicely because that's tight. Having this awesome bicep arm articulation makes it so much easier to hold weapons. <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. Okay, let's get an idea of size. First, I'll use the Civic Company Sentinel that I was talking about just now. And you see that he towers above your normal figure. He is huge. And he will be in suggested videos. Uh, next, 
I will use a 160 scale mech that works really well with 118 scale. Um, again, I'll stick this guy in suggested videos. And he still towers above this guy. He might be 160, but you've got to bear in mind that this guy, there's a tiny cockpit behind his gun, but he does scale really well. In fact, if I get a Joy Toy figure, you see how well that he scales with 118, and you can see that how well how big this guy is there. And the Joy Toy figure will be in suggested videos too. In fact, over here in a bag. I've got a huge 118 scale figure. Let me just take this mask off of him. Mm. Oh, pop his head out. Mm. This is uh, Sagat from Street Fighter, who is massive. I mean, he is just huge. And he is poor. A touch taller than Sagat, he is massive. And then lastly, we'll do an unfair comparison because I'm sticking against something that's 118 but huge. And that is the uh, <laughs> Joy Toy Fear Assault Mech. But they actually work really well together. Very similar aesthetics, especially with the paint in the same colour. Imagine like three or four of these and one of these coming towards you. It's like, yeah, that's a fork to be reckoned with such far power. Do, 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 do. Very, very cool. So in summing up this 20 plus minute review. Stay. Aesthetically amazing. Really, really, really good. Um, Articulation, amazing, really, really good. But I will say that his one of his hips, I think it's the right hip of mine. Let's have a look. What's it, the left? The left is too stiff, and you worry that the plastic is going to twist and snap. Um, so I might have to lubricate that sometime. Uh, really really nice such good articulation look at that bend as well in his body uh great scale great size i love these new feet the head is cool the gun i prefer something softer than this um rubbery stuff for the uh for the strap Because that doesn't want to give too much, you know, it's not very awkward. I'd be worth replacing that with something. Uh, disappointing is again is this backpack. You can see that even now that is bent down. I need to straighten out hot water and, and the freezer. And even though I can now can get this into there, which wasn't that easy, it was okay. And I can get this into his back getting this on the rack into his back is really not good is really not easy and i hope that toys alliance can get an easier system or a better system for next time hmm. I do like the fact that the armor comes off actually is just good for getting different looks if you buy more than one in, in a setup. But I'm just this point of the backpack, see that's not even straight, comes out too easily or it's too difficult to put in. But this is a such an awesome looking um camel bot robot robot android soldier mech, whatever you want to call it. What's well, not a mech, but really 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 nice and i am going to be picking up at least one more possibly for a future custom project very nice oh and the last thing to mention is he comes with this absolutely phenomenal looking sort of metal skull head which you can't see so well in camera there which in fact let's have a look It's not meant to go on the civet company, it's meant to go on the other guys. Will it fit on him? 
oh, it's too small the hole for this guy. Um, it's not compatible with this one. Uh, be compatible with some other acid rain figure, which I forget which one it is now, but that's fantastic. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying, it's been a bit closer for you, saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to more awesome action toy videos for you guys. Take care, stay happy, keep collecting, and check out the content because there's loads of stuff on the channel now, well over 600 videos and more coming practically daily. Bye bye.